centre of the shot. I don't know if I am because literally where I'm sat is just blocked out. I haven't actually got any notes for this, so I'm going to be going all over the place. But I wanted to film this video. I feel like it's a little bit dark. That feels a lot brighter. I feel a lot more confident with that. So I haven't got any notes. Um, I've literally just decided to turn on the camera and talk from what I remember. Um, this has kind of, I wasn't really planning to film anything today, but one, I haven't put anything on this channel in a while. And two, I've been wanting to do this video for ages and Are the neighbours back? Because I need to know. Because I'm freaking out. So there might be a few moments that are like that because basically the main reason why I have decided to film this video now is because um, there is a lot of activity in my house today and um, even though the neighbours are back now when they were away there was still quite a bit of activity and it sounded like it was coming from my house um, and it's just kind of sparked the I'm going to film this now while I can and yeah so anyway um, as you can tell by the title this is going to be like a I hate, I hate calling it this but a par paranormal experience video um, I hate calling it paranormal because it just sounds scary I mean sometimes it is but Anyway, yeah, like I said, I haven't got any notes, so I'm literally going off memory and I could go on a few um, different paths and like tell you about another thing and then jump back to another thing. So be fully prepared for that. And also I'm very hyper at the moment because I've got three sugars in my tea and I haven't had a lot of sugar today already. So I'm like, oh, it all sort of started. I want to say I was about 10. We weren't living in this house. I know that for a fact. Um, and... I basically saw my granddad and I he passed away before I was born um, this is my mum's dad the guy that has written on the side of my hand um, he passed away a few years before I was born so I never got to meet him but um, for some reason I've always had a connection with him um, and him above any other kind of thing I've been in contact with has always been the strongest. Um, I literally remember waking up and he was stood right next to my bed and it was literally just like he was stood there like he was alive and he just kind of like gone into my room for us to have a conversation and it was so weird because it wasn't weird to me. I just took him around the house like I held his hand shoe in my room shoe in the kitchen shoe in the living room just shoe him around the whole house and then just got back in bed and went to sleep and bearing in mind this was like 12 o'clock at night maybe one o'clock in the morning something like that um so that was like the first experience I had with him and then all throughout my middle school years um like well I say the middle school years like the end of my middle school years because I was in year six um like when I had my SATs tests he would pop up outside the um test room windows and just kind of like pull funny faces whenever it was always at a time when I felt very anxious or when I got nervous during the test um that he would also show up which was great because it was kind of like you're fine chill don't worry about it <laughs> um and after that i went into high school and it was like the first few days of when i first started high school that i saw him kind of pop up around school um and i s what was i saying yeah it was the first few days of high school and yeah, like I said, he popped up around school a bit. Um, but after that, I didn't really see him again. And I haven't physically seen him 
where he looks like alive um in a while it's always literally just been like how you imagine a ghost to be um it's been like whenever we've gone to the crematorium um on like chris near christmas or his birthday or his anniversary or something like that that he's sometimes been there um but other than that i've not really seen him as much but i do still have the kind of he's basically around um and i can still feel when he's around and i can still feel when even if it's not him there's someone else there it sounds very strange um but then i hadn't seen him for a while and then i remember i think this was around when i was in year eight i started to have this feeling of someone watching me like 24 7 all the time i felt very anxious i felt like i was trapped in a bubble um and it always felt like there was this pressure and i couldn't breathe um and every so often i would always see this kind of dark shadow and i never saw a face i can never tell who it is whether it's someone from my family that i may have known or if it's just some other person that has somehow managed to use my energy to come through to this world i don't know um and i don't know if i want to know to be honest because it doesn't feel like a good person and i remember this went on for months until finally it had gotten to the point where like i was on the verge of a breakdown because this person was always here I couldn't breathe all the time I felt so drained because they were using my energy um, and I remember I literally just stood in my living room and was like mum there's someone here I don't know who it is and I just completely broke down in tears and that was horrible because I would even see them I remember I saw them once when I was sat in my chemistry class and I had this feeling just to turn around turn around and they were outside standing in the car park and it was horrible um and i still get that feeling but again i don't see them i don't know if it's because i've gotten older and it's something you grow out of um but i've only get like the feeling of someone around any other sort of times has just been random like i'm literally having something now um i feel like there may be someone around in this house I'm not entirely sure who uh, this place where our house is built did used to be a church it wasn't like a massive church with a graveyard and things like that but it was a church and I don't know what sort of things would go on in the church um, and sometimes <laughs> right no <clears throat> I knew that was going to happen. Every time I talk about it, there's always something pop up. Anyway, yeah, so like literally just then was the perfect example um, where anytime I talk about it, sometimes occasionally someone will pop up and it will go very cold around me um, or just like out of nowhere I'll be sat in my room. I remember it happened once when I was literally sat here <laughs> on my floor, like on my iPad or something like that. And it went really cold around me and I can feel the pressure. Like I can tell you now there's something here on this side of me because it's just gone cold. Um, but it always feels like there's a pressure. And sometimes it just gets to the point where it gets quite irritating sometimes. So like I then had to do, I will literally just leave the room, let them do whatever they want to do and then just come back in. Um, I say them as if there's like six people in my room but I never know so yeah it is very strange I have to admit and I feel crazy talking about it because it's never something I really want to talk about um, unless obviously it's brought up in a conversation I will then talk about it but it's something I want to 
share because I feel like it is quite interesting and a lot of people are interested in this sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what else to say because it's just, it's such a weird thing. Like some days you feel someone around you all the time and then other times you're just completely fine. Um, I had the same sort of situation with that bad feeling a few months ago, maybe it was the beginning of this year, I'm not sure, where anywhere I went it was like that same person was there, like we would be driving along in the car and I would see them in the distance and as we were going to drive past them all of a sudden they would just go and it is very strange but I guess because I've had to deal with it so, because I've had to deal with it for so long, I'm just kind of used to it and I just do whatever I have to do. <laughs> and um, I add somewhere that it's kind of like once you open yourself up to the other side, then you become like this pathway. So if someone from the other side, like my granddad, wants to come across and say see my cousin or see my mum and or wants to communicate with them in some way they will use your energy and they will travel through you um, which is quite scary to think about but at the same time it's cool because obviously I never knew my granddad this is like my only connection and it's cool but at the same time it's quite annoying because like one minute you'll be fine and then the next minute your energy will just feel like it's non-existent and you feel tired and you feel irritated because it's just anything that kind of holds you up is all of a sudden just like nah just sucked out of you <laughs> um but yeah I think that's probably everything from the top of my head I can really talk about or think to talk about. Um, like I said I don't have any notes, if I made notes I would probably have a lot more to talk about. Um, but obviously because there has been a lot of activity around my house today it just kind of gave me the push to be like yes yeah, just chuck the video out there <laughs> and get it done. Um, but yeah. I don't know if I want to do more videos like this because this kind of stuff does interest me but I don't want to kind of overdo it but I mean yeah we'll see how everything goes so if you guys have any questions about anything I've said or if something doesn't make sense or you want to know a little bit more about it and I might be able to help in any way leave a comment down below um, and other than that, I will see you in my next video, whenever that could be. Could be a few months from now, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah.